All right, we got some Luca Garza news. Y'all might be mad, but let's talk about Luca Garza. That's my guy right there. What about the Luca Garza? Tell Luca come on the show, man. That's my guy. So we got some Luca Garza news, man. Right, he from DC. Shout out to DC, Chocolate City, Chocolate City. So apparently, Luca is a front runner to claim a final roster spot now. You know, he. I think I don't know under the two way contract. I think he could have signed with somebody else. So, if they value him, you think he's pretty good, I think they should bring him in. I mean, he showed the ability to, to move better. People say, oh, he can't defend. You can become a better defender. You can work on agility. But nobody in today's NBA game defends. Let's be real. Nobody defends. You don't have too many more Ruben Patterson, Tony Tony Allens. You don't, you pretty, you don't have you, you don't have those guys no more like that, for real. And that's what the NBA want. NBA don't want defense. They want to fucking... Uh, Hunter Glow Hogan Glow Trotters versus the Generals. They want you know that type of stuff. But um So they said uh Ian Bigley he said teams are monitoring to the roster ahead of training camp expected Troy to convert Luca Garza two way deal to a standard contract prior to the season. The move would open a two way spot for the Pistons. Garza, the number fifty two pick in the twenty one draft, average fifteen points, nine point six rebounds per game in the summer league. So um so right now that's gonna open up a two-way contract for them, but it goes on. Uh Luca looks like a real still as, as far as now Luke Garza. But the Pistons struck gold last season with the two-way contract using them on Sabre Lee and Frank Jackson, who are both able to earn their way onto the full time roster. Read from fan side, by the way, Piston Power. They say it looks uh now that Luca Garza uh will be the next piston uh to make his two to make his way from two way to full contract. Uh it makes sense as the Pistons only have two trainers after trading uh, Jaleel Okafor and Garza was a safe bet uh, bet to overtake uh, Jaleel's on the uh, shooting on the depth chart. Anyways, as he has a more versatile game and can shoot from range, which is something the Pistons definitely need. Garza would not only get to run behind Stewart and Olenek at center, but could also play with either of them. Olenek or Beef Stew can play the power forward position as well. They could potentially allow the Pistons to run groups. Uh, out with three or four shooters around K, which might be the best way to take advantage of his skill set. Um, I'm sure we will see lineups with K, Bay, Grant, Olenek, and Garza. I'm guessing North Stewart too, which uh, would not only be a huge versatile defensively, but will be plenty of shooting around K. Dwayne Casey is going to have a lot of options. Okay, who cares? He trash. So yeah, I like the. I told y'all he should make the team. You know, everybody was hating on him. You know, somebody he can't defend. Nobody can defend in the league. People tend to forget that. Can't nobody defend, excuse me, in the league. So what are we talking about defense, defense for? None of these dudes can defend. So I don't really care about that. I don't really care about that. Everybody talk about defense, defense, defense. And none of these dudes can't defend no way. Talking about, we talking about defense in 2020, 2021? When LeBron came, when LeBron became the best player in the league, that's when defense got worse. Before that's when the Pistons Spurs was going to the championships. And before that, so Michael Jordan was crying about the Pistons. <laughs> so, so that's just what it is. But, you know, like I said before, he might not be the greatest run defender of all time. But that's something you can improve on. Defense, the first thing about defense is just effort. It's effort. If you got good effort, I mean, that's that's half the battle down. And you're talking about running, jumping. Being quick, being tall, which he's tall. You know, like I said, I looked at this guy. I said, man, did anybody average that that number of points and rebounds in college? He should be able to do go in the league. You know, he should be able to post. He's going to get bigger, stronger. Score going to get stronger. Legs going to get stronger. Game going to get better. Why not? We can't play that. Brooke Lopez played to play today. We do. I ain't know Brooke Lopez average 20 points. You know, that team must have sucked. But, um... Yeah, you know, I like Luca a lot, so um like he gonna make the team and they're gonna spend the uh the uh the two way contracts so elsewhere. So they got one available now and they get Lark they get Luca Garza on the real on the real deal. They got two two way contracts, so we'll see, man. Let me know what you guys think that Detroit Pistons Talk playlist house, subscribe to the channel, share the video, thumbs up, best way to donate. Wanna make a financial donation, cash up, CJ Good three one three, Venmo, CJ Good three one three. PayPal link in the description. Uh, other than that, man, let me know what's in the comment section. Peace.